welcome back to round two of the water comparison series. Tonight I'm going to compare all five of these waters and decide which one is best and which one moves on to round three. So if you want more information about each of these bottles, go back to the reviews from round one. I'll give you more information about most of these. So this is just going to be quick. I'm just going to do a taste test. So here we go. First up is more Pantry Fuji Apple Water. This is already open and halfway done. I'm just using the same bottle from round one. So yeah, it tastes like like apple juice, but it's carbonated. Here it is. Arrowhead sparkling water. Hopefully it does not explode. Good. Yeah, there are some bubbles there, but it didn't explode, which is a good thing. Yeah, it tastes like it tastes like carbonated water, but it's like it's not the strongest I've had. It's not like Topo Chino. It's not the weakest I've had. Um, just you know, pretty average carbonated sparkling water. And so, if you're familiar with my water reviews and you're familiar with these waters, you probably already know which one of these is going to win. And I'm just, you know, spoiler, it's probably going to be this one. Because this is the only still unflavored waters here. This is not even, like, an amazing water. But it's probably going to be the winner. Yep. This one is from Texas. This is a Nestle regional brand. This was up against Zephyr Hills. Um which is also a Nestle regional brand. And uh, this one was significantly better than Zephyr Hills. Zephyr Hills had this, like, weird chemical taste to it. Um, and I've been drinking a lot of it lately, like, finishing up the ones I had left. And I don't... I do not like Zephyr Hills. Next up is Hint with Cherry. This is a still-flavored water. has a very mild, it really is a hint of flavor. It's like a really mild flavor to it. It's, it's not nearly as strong as the apple flavor in this. Here's the Pure Aqua Essence Water from Aldi. Um, I think this is like a copy of Hint. It's supposed to be the same type of thing. It's just like a small amount of flavor. This flavor is lemon. Yeah, it's a very mild taste. With both of these waters, as soon as it hits your tongue, you don't really taste anything. But when it's when the water's going down your throat is when you actually taste it. Like when it when the when the water leaves your tongue is when you actually taste the flavors. Because I think these are both like this is not really lemon. This is not really cherry. It's like it's, it's natural flavors, but it's not like really from those fruits okay so first up I'm going to eliminate the uh, sparkling water like it, this all just comes down to my personal opinion if I had to choose uh, which one to not drink out of all these it would be the arrowhead next up Yeah, next up, I'm going to eliminate the uh, Fuji Apple. You know, in my first review, <laughs> I was kind of stupid. I was, like, questioning what Fuji means in my first review. Fuji Apple is just a type of apple. Like, that's the one in the picture, obviously. And I, I feel kind of stupid for not knowing that in the first review. I thought it was, like... I thought Fuji was, like, an adjective describing apple. I, I don't know. Anyway, this is out mainly because it's sparkling. Um, <laughs> so here we go.
yeah, all three of these are fine. Like, I would give all three of these a thumbs up. They're not the best I've ever had, but they're all perfectly fine waters. They're all wet, wet waters. Like a meaning, meaningless thing, but... None of them have a bad aftertaste. Uh, none of them have like a plasticky, or at least a, not a strong plasticky taste to them. It's kind of a bad idea to mix a flavored water review with a still water review. Because sometimes with the flavors, it kind of like overwhelms your, uh, you know, your tongue and your taste buds. And sometimes the flavor sticks with you. Uh, when you review the still waters, it kind of like might alter your uh, your review. If you ever review a still water, you should probably go into it with like a, an empty palate on your for your tongue. I'm going to eliminate the hint water cherry, um, just because I think the lemon is like more of a mild taste, and it just, it just comes down to if I had to drink more of this right now, um, this is this would be my third choice of which to drink. Next, I'm going to eliminate the. Uh, Aldi water, the essence water. And it's not bad at all. It's really not bad at all. But it's just, I prefer still unflavored waters. Like, this is John Drinks Water. This is the most watery water out of all of them. And congratulations, Texas Nestle Water. You're moving on to round three. And Round three is coming up. Um, we're done with all of round two of, you know, the third chart. So, round three is coming up. Thanks for watching, everyone.